Yeah, hi, it's Keith. It's the second day of Intersolar in Germany. Uh, and with Joel, we're just doing a few, putting some lights on our stand at the moment. Um, I said, I promise to show you something that's a game changer. This is something completely different. We've made it much, much easier to program. So Joel is the IT guy. Let, come on, let's show. We'll, we'll, we'll put the, the phone on the table. It's easier to show it. You're going to love this. Right, explain, explain what's going on, Joel. So Sorry. on the plant overview here, obviously the, the inverter is not running at the moment, but I can still show you this demonstration. So if you expand the plant, this is where you'd see the overview. If you go into the equipment tab, so here's your list of inverters. If you just open one of them up and go into settings. So this is where you'd usually set your inverter settings. Now, if you set up your very first inverter and you want to use the same uh, parameters for your next few installs all you need to do is click this little button at the top and that will save it to a list of installs that you've already done so you can literally just go on to your next inverter select the settings go to that same button and click import so you just select the one you want to import and click import and that's it and to export program it into another inverter so that's it that's importing on the other inverter. Oh, so, that, so you click, click the import and it imports it onto the other inverter? Yeah. So, so basically, you, you can have a standard parameter that you know works, and you haven't got to go and check all your settings individually. It's just a single file. Correct. So, so if you're a distributor and the installer is a little bit difficult to understand what's going on, then um, it's really, really, it's really interesting. That's, that is, it's going to be it, it, well done, because this is an absolute game changer. Because the amount of time on the phone, check this setting, check that setting, check the other setting, because they're quite complicated to learn. Now you don't need to learn any of the settings. Mm -hmm. It's just done a single button. Of course, if you become more advanced and know the settings, it's much better. But basically, one button, one press, that's it, job done. As long as you, you just got to get the communication, make sure he comms, which we've done videos. That you, you know, just repeat again. I know we've done many things about comms, setting up the data logger. So it's very, very simple. Very simple. I just want to add as well, so I'm slowly adding a list of recommended settings, so as soon as you open you'll already see that there's some already in there. So I'm just going to add them one by one for different scenarios, so it might be a 3.6 kilowatt that's on grid with 200 amp batteries with solar, and I'll just preset everything so if you are unsure on the settings you can just go straight into it, think yeah that looks familiar what I'm doing. And just upload it. And, and you can also create your own list on yep. top of that. So this list is already embedded in it. Correct. And so then you can add more and more. Yeah. So as far as the installer is concerned, as I said before, you just got to go on, set your data logger, which is really easy. It's the Sunsync data logger. Mm -hmm. So just explain again how the data logger goes. I know we've done it many times. So the data logger, all you need to do is plug it into the inverter and give it power. Next, you'll see that there's a green light lighting up on the, on the data logger. That means it's got power, but it's not connected yet. So all you need to do is go to, on your phone, you'll see a connection on your Wi-Fi settings. So on your Wi-Fi settings, and you'll see an SSID that says uh, EAP. You won't see it now because we've not got one plugged in. But you'll see it show up, say EAP. So you click on that and the password is 12345678. From there, you need to browse to the IP address 10.10.10.1, and that'll pull up the page of the data logger address. So then you scroll to the bottom, you'll see scan. That'll come up with your next Wi-Fi SSID. You select that, enter your, your password for your home Wi-Fi. So that's it, you're connected. From there, you open up the app. All you need to do is go to the plant list, click more, create plant, and scan the QR code on the data logger. And that's it. It'll pull through all the, the, the serial number and everything from the from the data logger. So you just fill in all your specific uh, details, the address, the plant name you want to give it, and and that's it. You're done. So it's really really simple. It's, it's mm -hmm. uh, you know we can't we're trying to make it as simple as possible to use. So you know well done, Joel. So this is Joel and Keith. 
uh, into solar and our fluffy mic. <laughs> so well done, Joel. Thank you. Cheers. Keep following us on YouTube. And don't forget, please, I always get told not to do this, please subscribe to our channel. We're trying to get more people interested and follow up. At least we know people are watching. Cheers. Thank you.